Hey, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Michael, the body beat down here. Uh, today is leg day. I'm kind of having to rethink my leg day today. I've had some things go on. Um, and I'll fill you in since you are a part of my life, you're a part of my community. And uh, the community is about health and fitness and this is health and fitness related. Um, so if you noticed this morning, I started a live stream. If any of you noticed, I, uh, I started a live stream. Uh, I was spinning on the bike and I was just gonna live stream my spin. And it wasn't two minutes into the live stream that I seen a truck slowly go by the window and uh, I couldn't tell if it pulled in or not because I got black curtains and all that in the uh, in my office. I'll put a clip right here. Yeah! So, uh, what you just seen there was uh, my father-in-law coming in my house and yelling for me and me jumping up and uh, seeing what was going on. Well, my oldest son has diabetes and he has the bad diabetes. Uh, it started out the type that he could have changed and uh, turned his life around completely had he uh, tried early on in his uh, diagnos uh, diagnosis, if that's the correct word, about three, four, five years ago, however long it's been now. And it's progressed to the point now where he's the bad diabetes. Uh, I don't even know which one it is. Maybe type two, I have no idea, guys. Uh, but anyway, he never takes care of himself. He doesn't eat good, he doesn't have food, he eats the wrong food, he doesn't take his shots, he doesn't, take care of himself and so well anyway it's it's been an ongoing struggle this whole time and uh, so anyway got a call I guess uh, uh, a guy that works with my wife also works where my son works uh, part-time as well and uh, he's my son's boss and so my wife gets a call from uh, that guy and says you know hey your son's passing out and uh, call the ambulance so you know, ambulance gets there. He doesn't want to take the ambulance. So my wife's boss put him in the car and brought him up to the ER where we were all waiting at the time. So anyway, you know, he gets in there and finally they get blood work done and all this different stuff. And I come to find out his numbers are up over 500, about 550. And that's pretty much diabetic and coma. Uh, so he wasn't doing so well and even the machine that they tried to read his blood, it wasn't even, it just said it was critical. It wouldn't even go up high enough in the, you know, in, in the numbers to fully read. So anyway, uh, that kind of cut my live stream short. It kind of cut my day weird. And so after spending a few hours in the ER and kind of waiting on things and waiting for him to kind of level out a smidgen bit to his normal level, which is easily 300s, easily. Uh, well, we finally left. We went out and had a good late lunch uh, together. And then we went to the store and bought him some healthy alternatives, quick alternatives, just fresh cut deli meats and stuff like that. Uh, and some eggs and water. Uh, he's, a, you know, he's a 20-something year old man, and he's not going to take time to cook. So we, we've kind of given up on buying him food. You gotta cook too much. So anyway, that's kind of what happened with my day. And uh, again, this channel is about health and fitness, and diabetes definitely touches on that. And uh, boy, guys, it's it's something that I preach all the time about taking care of yourself, being responsible for yourself. And uh, that's because, see, it's not just about you. It's about everyone that's in your family and around you and involved with you. If you can't take care of yourself, then now someone else has to take care of you. So 
you shouldn't want to put that burden on anyone and you also shouldn't want to put a burden on dying before your parents for all you kids uh, you shouldn't put that on your parents no parent wants to have to bury their kid <sighs> so long story short short story long it's been a crazy day so number one take responsibility for yourself quit being a jerkwad and thinking that you're alone in this world and nobody has to uh, nobody else is going to be affected by your decisions in life quit being a freaking jerk and that goes to everybody out there that watches this and number two this is about something traumatic like this happening in your day and still trying your best to stay on track now again we did go eat a good meal we had mexican i just had chicken fajitas without the wraps or anything that's how i eat them so it's just a plate of chicken peppers onions tomatoes yummy so i had that and then i've just had my pre my pre-workout oatmeal that i eat and then i got my supper cooking which is chicken and fish so you know you got to stay on track and that's a big part of a mental game it's a whole mental aspect of it and uh anyway so you know where's where do we go from here i don't know anyway it's leg day i'm gonna focus only on the hack press i was gonna do squats as well i was actually gonna do some bench squats bench squats but i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna stick to the hack press tonight and uh call today we're not going to get any video i just wanted to touch base with people that might have tried to tune into that live stream and i had to cut it off instantly i think i cut it off i don't know <laughs> but uh i left the i left the program actually running so i've got like five hours and something of a video anyway that's my story today and i'm sticking to it guys like share subscribe comment all that good stuff to the body beat down that's the only way this channel is going to grow is by liking sharing subscribing and commenting okay inspire someone today along the way including yourself because you matter the most in life at the end of the day you're your own best friend get up get out get ready do a tune we'll see you next time on the body beat down take care of yourself guys get up get out get ready do it do it